Do you eat? No. I mean, I've seen you eat at meals, but you don't like eat in between meals, do you? No, I do. You do? Mm-hmm. You just don't eat in front of me. Well, we're recording right now. It's family. You don't eat in front of family? Not when you're chewing like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Our stupid reacts to the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And he follows on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Ring bell, Corbin. Okay, squat. I think we're supposed to some Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account. Follow us on official 2.0 channel as well. American stuff over there. America! Today we are reacting to a a, a quartet. But it's a percussion quartet. Indian percussion quartet. This is cool. We've not done this yeah. before. No, you have chocolate all over your mouth. Here we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do we know it's percussion? So my first thought is... Read all this. <sighs> the Kanjira Quartet, mm -hmm. Indian percussion, Madrazana Unplugged. Are, it's percussion. Are we going to see the maestro? No, no. He, I mean, he's not in it. No. Okay. No, no, no. He's not in it. Let's see. I think I'm excited. I think it's just something different. This is awesome. Here we go. Love it already. Your mind's gonna stop.
What is that? What is that? Oh. Mad Rasana. Miss Rasana. Wow. You guys are cool. So it's like, it's basically what it is, essentially, is a Indian drum, whatever that is. Like a drum line, yeah, like you drum, said. Yeah, a drum line is basically what it was. Because that's the thing I can relate it to here. Like yeah, high schools or high school bands and college bands, bands have drum lines. And they're awesome. Snares is usually what it is. Yeah, especially the really long ones. And you'll have them go all down the line. Yeah. Oh. So that's what it reminded me, me too. Of, but like with your fingers, which is really because the synchronicity they had with going like I mean the same thing we're so impressed with with um, Sakir Hussein. Yeah. Uh, but obviously it's a completely different instrument. This just looked like a wheel of cheese. Right. Or it's a, a, a version of the pre. I'm sure it's something that inspired the tambourine. Oh, uh, reminded yeah. me a lot of the tambourine, like the origins of tambourine. Mm -hmm. uh, Let us know what it's specifically called, please. Yeah. The the uh, um, the level of musical. Um, the language. So, for example, music is a language. Mm -hmm. it, it's also it's a it's math. It's science. But this was reminding me about how music is a language, and for like any language, using English for example, there's beginners English, and then you become you know seventh grade reading level, and then you can become conversant at a level that's college. Uh, and and these guys speak at a language of per, of music's percussion levels mm -hmm. that transcends my. I have a pretty high uh, language capacity in music. These guys are off the charts and they're, they're hats off to the gentleman on the far corner who was being the metrodome and was counting them. Oh yeah. And one of the things that one of them did early on where I was recognizing the in-betweens, in, in early music classes that you take, you'll be taught the, how to fit rhythms together. So you'll just do something simple. Like you'll do one, two, three, four, Right, let's do that. One of the hardest things to do is do something that's in between. I was doing one in between the two and the three. That's what that guy was doing. He was doing one even more crazy. It's like they were doing eights and he was falling on the upbeat of the five. It was, they're off the charts rhythmically. Yeah. Just was... crazy talented. Looks like they're severely underfollowed. The... Only fourteen thousand followers. You see, only seventy-one thousand views. Maybe Guys. they're new. Maybe uh, it came out no last year, eighteen, uh, two thousand eighteen. Uh, it, it did sound. Maybe it wasn't, but it sounded for in spurts of it. They the dun, mission dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the accents were doing that. Yeah. So what if if it's not, it, it just that's what it sounded like to us. I think it gives a little explanation from here to. In this video, we present Laya Chathura featuring Vidwan's. KV, that stands for something um, more than, and forgive me for mispronouncing any other names. Uh, Gopala Krishman, Sri Sundakumar, Anradu Athriya, and BS Purushotham playing their own version, Tri Kala Thalam, inspired by Arunaganathar, which is Kanda Ekram in 2 Kala 10, and Chathura Ekram in 1 Kala 4. Whew. And this is Eckerman half kala, 1.5. I believe those are musical notations and rhythmical communications in, in Eastern music and rhythm, rhythms. Uh, Laya Chathura is a unique collaboration of four of the most sought after and brilliant Kanjiri artists. So the Kanjira, the Kanjira Quartet, not Kanjiri, the Kanjira Quartet, I guess the Kanjira is that instrument? Mm. This is an initiative as to how Kanjira, usually an accompaniment in Carnatic music, that's Carnatic music. Makes sense. Can be explored to its fullest potential as also a main instrument. So it's an accompaniment instrument with Carnatic music for vocals. Gotcha. And they were using it as a primary instrument. That's cool. Yeah, their synchronicity was off. Not just that they were playing. That's why at one point I said, you look at their heads. Yeah. Because they were feeling the music and expressing it in the same way with their heads as they were moving. I was, I took my hand, my eyes off their hands and just kind of looked at it peripherally to watch their body language, and their heads were almost like a machine. It's like <laughs> incredible musicianship. Yeah, they, they said they're apparently four of the most sought after of, of this particular, which makes sense. Cause makes it, sense. It looks like they were all supremely talented at oh. this um, instrument. Yeah. Um, uh, that was fantastic. And so I mean, unique too. Very <laughs> unique. And I'd love to know, are, are there, because they were on sync with everything. And I'm sure 
what they were doing was not just the memorization of a piece, but I bet they had, for example, like four particular segments of, let's say, counts of 16. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so you put those four counts of, of 16 together and you get a lot of music and you just do them. So for example, you do, let's say you had these four segments and you named them one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do segments one, two, three, and four, and then we're gonna do segments two, three, four, and one, and then we're gonna do segments three, four, one, and two. Mm -hmm. And all you have to memorize are four patterns, but because you're putting them in between, nobody else is gonna be able to figure that out. Gotcha. And you still have to rehearse like mad. Yeah. And and do stuff that only drummers and percussion people can do because I like drummers that play on a full kit and can do four different rhythm expressions, one, two, three, and four. Oh, and some like, double bass and boggles my mind. It, that always boggles, like whenever I saw bands that the drummer would play a double bass yes. and then do everything else, I was yes. like, dude, how? Yes, there's times I listen to some of the, the drumming, like for example, uh, you, you listen to The Police, mm -hmm. and Copeland's drumming is just, I listen to him and I'm like, how, I can't even lip sync it, you know, I can't even air drum it and match the rhythm he's playing. Yeah. It's so complicated. Yeah. So that was this awesome. Was brilliant. That was great. Brilliant. So unique. We love that. That oh. is so different from anything we've seen. Yeah. Uh, so as always, please send us anything that's unique, that's just different out there, or if it's not unique that we haven't really seen yet. What we, we need to explore more Carnatic music. Absolutely. Uh, we've only done a few of those. So. But I'm reminded of when we were speaking to Ustaji Zakir Hussain. Oh, we saw, we saw, we talked to him? Yeah. You don't remember that? Oh, that must have oh. been your clone. It may, if we did, I'll put it up here. Okay. Um, wow, look at that. <laughs> when we asked him about how important it was for him for Americans to be more exposed to Indian artistry because we hadn't heard about him and felt ashamed by it, yeah. and his response was twofold. The first one he said was, I want people to be exposed to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, there's music in Indonesia. There's a, you should open up and expand everything. But then he brought up what we've mentioned. It's like, in America, we've been around for just about five minutes. Mm -hmm the wealth and the richness of Indian artistry is unfreaking ending. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be doing this 25 years from now and find out stuff we didn't know about India. Yeah. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Got a cool country there, India. Pretty freaking cool country. <laughs>